healing is um, an amazing journey uh, of initially self-discovery, discovering who I am and what I need in life. And all of us need things uh, to be healed in more than others. You know, there's some things, there might be something I need to be cured of that is not relevant to you. And there's no one size fits all, and it's, there's no one hadith fits all, and it's not just one act of worship that fits all. All of us approach Allah seeking the same thing, but from different ways and different vantage points. So I say uh, to myself and you, because I'm, I'm broken and you're broken, and that's one of the things that is important for you to know, that all of us hide our shame from others cleverly and in better ways than uh, people assume. And the ulama, they would say things like, if sins had a scent, you wouldn't sit next to me. If, if, if my sins you know, had a bad odor, you wouldn't want to enter this room because I know my sins. But my sins don't have an odor, you don't know. You don't see it in me. And you don't know of it. So first step is to know you, none of us are unique in that. I'm not different to you. It may be a different level, but it's still the same. It's the, still the same thing. Second, that everything we do, everything, and that I stress that word thing that we do um, that disfigures us with Allah is a thing that His mercy is greater than. And therefore Allah says, وَسِعَتْ رَحْمَتِي كُلَّ شَيْءٍ my mercy is greater than all things. So all of the things that we make as mistakes, do not ever discount the overwhelming mercy of Allah Azza wa Jal. Number three, Allah determines in our life that we are in control of choice of right and wrong. He leads us to the path to make choice. And it's wrong for us to assume, oh, I can't do any better. It is within our capacity to improve. And it could be just to improve just one prayer. And that's why in our prayer at the end we say, Allahumma inna ala dhikrika wa shukrika wa husn ibadatik. Oh Allah, give me the assistance to pray better and to be better and to make my salah the next time better than it was this time. So don't ever give up asking Allah for help. And the one who continues asking Allah for help is the one who will be successful. But also take practical means. Uh, you know, some people, for example, a mobile phone can be uh, a destructive tool. It's just a phone. It's a mobile phone. But if this mobile phone is the thing that I'm on that makes me miss my children's life, it's better for me not to have a new one. It's better for me to get a Nokia 5270 or whatever it used to be. Do you remember the one with the blue screen? Right? Or maybe you're not that old. Right? Didn't have any of this technology, no camera, no nothing. If this mobile phone is the thing that's going to keep me from having a good relationship with my wife, that it's the last thing I see and do before I sleep and made me forget my dhikr, if it's the first thing that I turn to when I wake in the morning, if it's my center of everything in life that without it I feel I can't breathe, some people get to that level where, oh my God, I lost my phone, I lost my life. Right? No, these are, you know, it, it's true. So, and I'm just giving a simplified, I'm not even talking about sinful behavior. I'm not even talking about, you know, may Allah protect our homes and families of pornography and lewdity, you know, uh, lewd uh, uh, videos and YouTube and, you know, all these, all this kind of stuff. So even that is something that we have to be conscious about. And finally, the last piece of advice is to find people who lead us upon the path to Allah. All of us need a good friend, all of us need a mentor, all of us need someone to turn to. I do and you do. I have people around me who I believe make me better as a person and enrich my life and in, enrich my experience with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So a part of it is, فَلْيَنظُرْ أَحَكْدَكُمْ مَنْ يُخَالِلْ Look to who your best friends are, who your greatest influences in life are, who you read for, who you study for. You know, all of those are things that come together that give us hope for a better future and healing. Um, and that the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is greater than all obstacles in our life. Wallahu a'lam.